We started yesterday solving revision exercises of our lesson, the coordinate system. So yesterday we started solving exercises as revision together. After we revised, <clears throat> sorry, after we revised all the rules that we studied together in coordinate system one. So after the revision of these rules, after we revised all these rules, yesterday <clears throat> we solved, we solved, uh, an exercise how to locate points in a system of axes. And if we are given an equation of a straight line, how can we make the equation of the straight line looks the same as the uh, equation of the general form? So we did this exercise. I hope you practiced again this exercise. And we started drawing lines in a system of axes. So we started drawing these lines in a system of axes. We have seen how we draw a line in a system of axes. And today we are going to start calculating the slope of a straight line in a system of axes. Let me see who attended now. I said yesterday, please attend on time. Attend at nine o'clock. Please don't be late. Let us uh, start on time from the beginning. Jad. Whom do I have? Syrian, Nurjan, Syrian, Nurjan. So till now I have written Sarah, Adam, Alex, Kalam, Fatima, Hadi, Fadel, Noor, Abbas, Amir, Jad, Sirin, and Nurjan. Okay. So in this exercise today, we will start it. We are given two points, A and B. We should find the slope of line AB. For the slope of line AB, of course, to find the slope or to calculate the slope, we have a rule. Let me go back to the rule of the slope. So I will go back to the rule of the slope. I want to remind you of the rule of the slope. This is the rule of calculating a slope of a straight line in a system of axes. So if we are given two points A and B, with coordinates, abscessa and ordinate, the slope of line AB is equal YA minus YB over XA minus XB. And of course, we replace to calculate this slope. Now I want to start please with Sirin. Yes, yes, Sirin. Sirin. Yes, Irin. Okay, thank you, Yes, Irin. I want to ask, please, Fadel. Yes, Fadel. yes, Miss. Why did Yes, Irin? No, ma. When the fatahti of Allaite. Khaliki ma ayi, please. Khaliki a Fadel ajanab. Khalin ehki ma Sirin. Sirin. La fatahat. Behki ma Sirin. Berja lak ya Fadel. Okay, Sirin. Yeah. Then the two points A and B. So you have two points Amist. A and B with abscesses and ordinates. We should find the slope of line AB. We have a rule for the slope of line AB, right? Yes, Irina, I'm back to Yes. What is, how do we calculate the slope of line A? I'm Sama. I'm Sama. I'm Sama. How do we calculate the slope of line AB? What is the rule? Slope of AB equal to what? A 
ايه يا فضل فضل اي اي بي ايكوال واي ما بنقول حبيبي ما بنقول اي اي بي يا حبيبي يا فضل واي بي فضل اوف فضل عم تسمعني يا فضل ما بنقول هي ما اسمها اي اي بي اسمها سلوب اوف اي بي يا جماعه هيدي ما اسمها اي اي بي ذس از كولد سلوب اوف لاين اي بي يس يا فاضل كونتينيو سلوب اوف لاين اي بي ايكوال تو وات كفي يا فاضل بس طلعت طلعت رجعت فت مش عليه هو طلع لي من المات ايه شو بيساوي سلوب للاي بي؟ ايكوال واي اي ماينس واي اكس اي ماينس اكس بي Yes, so the slope of AB equals, as Fadil said, YA minus YB over XA minus XB. Now let's replace. The ordinate of A is 2. So we replace the ordinate of A by 2 minus the ordinate of B is 6. So 2 minus 6. The abscessa of A is a 3 minus the abscessa of B is 4. So we replace now 2 minus 6 over 3 minus 4. Listen to me, Jamea. Bilimtihan al lamil tu akhtari yitkon most of you calculated in a wrong way. Finas ma biyatu baad yijma wi naqso. Yan hedi kersi wi grade 9. Talamiz ma biyatu yamlu addition and subtraction. This is really a disaster. أوكي؟ لما بنجمعوا بننقص بنعملهم صح 2 6 مثل الكبير as the greatest and we subtract so 2 6 is minus 4 3 4 as the greatest and we subtract it is minus 1 so minus 4 over minus 1 I don't leave it like this any fraction any fraction that can be reduced or simplified, it should be reduced or simplified. Negative over negative becomes positive, and four over one is equal to four. Ma bitirkulal fraction behind the shakil wawaif, okay? Any fraction again that can be reduced or simplified, it should be simplified. So this is the slope of line A, B, it is four. Now I want to ask Sarah. Yes, yes, Sarah. Sarah. Jad. Yes, Miss. Yes, yes, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. Open and close. What are you going to do? Miss, you call me. Sarah, yes, I called you. Read here, please. The second. No. Sarah, given. Sarah, read. Uh, given, given the two points C with uh, coordinates four and one, and D with coordinates two five. Find. Find the, the slope of C D. Yes, what does the slope of CD equal? Slope of CD equal to what? The slope of uh, CD. Equal? Yes. yes. Uh, YA, YC minus YD uh, over XA minus XD. XC minus XD. So YC minus YD over XC minus XD. Now, what is YC? We, this is we YC. Can Y C خلاص ميوت يا سارة ميوت Y C is one so I replace Y C by one Y D is five so I replace it one minus five X C is four minus X D is two so I replace one minus five over four minus two now I will calculate one minus five 
the sign is as the greatest and we subtract. So it is minus four, four minus two is two. Again, this fraction should be simplified. Negative over positive is negative, four over two is two. So the answer is negative two. As you can see, the slope can be a positive number or a negative number. Okay, now please, I want Mahdi. Yes, yeah, Mahdi. Mahdi? Yeah, hello. Read Mahdi, the third one, please. Given? Yes. Given the two points E. 0 minus 4, F 0 minus 3, 1. Find the slope of EF. Okay, what is the rule of the slope of EF, ya Mahdi? Slope of EF equal to what? Yes, ya Mahdi. Uh, YE minus YF Bravo. over XE minus XF. Bravo. So y e over y uh, minus y f over x e minus x f. So then this is the rule. Now we replace. Replace ya Mahdi. What is y e? Uh, minus y e minus four. Okay, minus. What's y f? And then y f is one. So minus four minus one over. What's X E? One. X E. Uh, zero. Minus, minus what's X mi F? Zero. X F. Uh, minus three. Where do we replace the minus three? between and a parenthesis. Okay, so this is what Mahdi said. I have, uh, oh, here I replaced in a wrong way. Let me correct it with you, Mahdi. Okay. So what's YE again, ya Mahdi? What's YE? YE is minus what? Uh, it's minus four, minus what's one. What's YF? Minus one, so minus four minus one over minus four minus what's one. XE? What zero is minus zero three. Okay, so because the minus a three is negative, we replace it in between parentheses, no, right? Zero minus minus three. Okay, so this is what we have. What is the answer of yes. minus four and minus one, Yamahdi? Minus five. Bravo, minus five. Now I have zero minus minus a three. Negative times negative. Positive equal to three. So it is zero plus a three. Now I have negative five over three. So as you can see, this slope is what Yamahdi? It is a Fraction, right? Right, Mahdi? Fraction. Can we reduce this fraction, ya Mahdi? Can we reduce five and yes. three? Yes. Can we reduce five and three by how much? No. No. So it is a fraction no. minus five over three. I leave it as it is because we cannot reduce. Thank you, Mahdi. Now I move to Adam. Yes, yeah, Adam. Adam? No, miss. Yalla, ya Adam. Given the two no. points M, which is minus one minus a three, and N, which is minus four minus one, we should find the slope of line MN. What is the rule, ya Adam? Slope of line MN equal to what? Uh, y M. 
é minus y m bravo over equal uh, over x m minus x n bravo yeah adam so we have y m minus y n over x n خليني هون كمان محي هون احسن ما تغلطوا فيه هون هون اكيد هودي كالكوليشن غلط انا عملت تحت مزبوطة يس خليني كفي معك يا مهدي let's يا يا ادم sorry let's replace what is y m يا ادم minus uh, 3 bravo minus what is y n minus 1 Okay, we will do minus one between parentheses, صح? Yeah, between parentheses. Yes. For example, over x m is minus one, minus x n is minus four. أول شيء مهدي هون هادي كيف بعمل لك الكوليت ما نخلص من الماينس والماينس منخلي الماينس فري مثل ما هي ويساي negative times negative is Positive. So minus three plus one over minus one plus four. Minus three plus one. What is the answer, ya Adam? Middle like beer as the greatest, and we subtract. Minus three plus one. What's the answer? Minus two. Bravo. Minus one plus four. What's the answer? Minus three. No. Show the answer, like beer, ya Adam. Plus. Faisan, minus two over three is the answer. This is how we find the slope of any number uh, of any straight line in a system of axes. We use this rule. As you can see, the name of the points may change. Okay. Any question about this practice exercise, or we move to the next one? No questions. Okay, everything is clear. Let me move to the next exercise. Yeah. Now we move to the next exercise, which is how we calculate the length of a segment in a system of axes. Now we have, I want please uh, Nurjan to answer. Yes, yeah, Nurjan. Yes, Miss. The first one, Nurjan, given the two points A and B, of course, A has coordinates and B has coordinates, we should calculate the length AB. What is the rule to calculate the length AB, Nurjan? AB is equal to what? We open a big radical. Bravo, a big radical. X, A. Minus plus y a minus y b between parentheses all of all of it squared. Yes. So we, as Nurjan said, x a minus x b all of it squared plus y a minus y b all of it squared. Now let's replace. What's x a and Nurjan? Two. What is XB? Four. XB. Debian Urjan. XB, the or the, the abscessa of B. One. One. Plus what is YA? Four. What is YB? One. So two minus one all of it squared plus four minus one all of it squared. First, let's calculate the answer of what we have between parentheses. What is two minus one, Yanurjan? One. So one squared. What is four minus one? Three squared. So we have one squared plus a three squared. What's the answer of one squared? One. Three squared. Nine. So we have radical one plus nine. What is one plus nine? Ten. So we have radical ten. 
We look at the 10 that we have here. 10, can we write it as a perfect square, Dianurjan? No. No. And if we did the prime factorization, we will get 2 times 5. Mafina Namil reduced, so we leave it radical 10. So radical 10 cannot be reduced. Thank you, Yanurjan. I move now to Alex. Yes, Alex. Alex, uh, given the two hello. points C and D, we should calculate CD. Yalla ya Alex, CD is equal to what? All right, so CD, well, we'll see the slope. So we need to calculate it. So uh, CD equal, and we start a big radical. Yes. And then in parentheses, we can do XC minus XD is close parenthesis and then all of that squared plus another parenthesis YC minus YD close that parenthesis all of it squared. Yes, equals. Alex. Yes. Now let's replace what's, re what's XC, Alex? Uh, XC, it's going to be minus two. Yes, minus what's x d? Yeah, inference is minus two. Yes, and what's x d? It will be minus three. Of course, we replaced it between parentheses because so we have yes. Yes. Yeah. Now y c is one and y d is two. Now let's calculate Alex. How do we calculate this? It's very easy. I don't do the minus two square. I first get rid of the minus and the minus. Negative and negative is what Alex. Next negative, that's positive. So we get minus two plus three all of it squared. Yeah. And one minus two is minus one all of it squared. Now, what is minus yeah. two plus three, Alex? Minus two plus three, it's one. Yes, so one. And so minus one squared one plus one, one which is still going to be one. Yes. So one plus one is going to be two. Yes, two cannot be simplified, so we leave it as it yeah. is. Thank you, Alex. Now let me move to Yasmina. Yes, Yasmina. Yasmina. Yes, miss. Okay, Yasmina. The last one, please read. Given the two points. Um, given the two points, K five, uh, uh, minus three and uh, L minus two minus six. Calculate uh, KL. Yes, yes, Mina. Yal. KL is equal to what? Um, XK, a uh, radical. Big radical. Uh, parenthesis XK minus XL. Squared. Squared uh, plus YK minus YL uh, squared. Squared, yes. Now let's replace. What's XK, Yasmina? Um, XK, five. Minus, what's XL? Minus two. We replace it between parentheses. YK? Squared. Um, minus three. YL? Minus, uh, minus six. Yes, okay. now let's get rid of the minus and the minus. So we get five plus two, all of it squared, minus and minus, minus a three plus six, all of it squared. So first, before we do it squared, we get rid of the minus and the minus after each others. Now, Yasmina, what is five plus two? Um, seven. Seven squared. What is minus a three squared. plus six? Uh, minus three. No, middle like beer, Yasmina. Minus a three or a three? Um, three. Three squared. Now, what's the answer of seven squared? Uh, 49. Three squared? Nine. 49 plus nine is how much? Is 58. Let us see if we can simplify the 58 so we make the prime factorization, right? Yes. 
After we make the prime factorization, we get two times 29. We have no square, so it cannot be reduced. So we leave it radical 58 as it is. Thank you, Yasmina. Now, before we finish, let me again uh, remind you of the rules that we use in expanding and factorization of an algebraic expressions. Because every week from now on, Whatever our lesson is, every week we will be having a question about algebraic expressions. And next, if, uh, next quiz, you will have also a question in algebraic expressions. Why? Because we should practice this again. We should not forget this. So these are the rules used in expanding an algebraic expression, and these are used in factorization of algebraic expression. We can expand or factorize using common factor, as you can see here. Of course, expanding, as I always say, we should get rid of the parentheses. In our answer, we should have no parentheses. If we use the remarkable identities, we have A plus B all of it squared, A minus B all of it squared, A minus B into A plus B, of course, you should memorize these remarkable identities. So as you can see in expanding in our answers, we have no parentheses. While in factorization, in our answer, we have parentheses. So in the answers, we have parentheses. Uh, using remarkable identities, of course, we have A plus B all of it squared, and we have A minus B all of it squared. We have A minus B into A plus B. So these are the rules. Now, now we have this exercise, but please wait a moment, just a, a, a little bit. I want to do something before we continue. I want to stop share for a moment. Uh, so before we continue, did you solve this exercise, guys? The last exercise? I solved it. Hello, guys. Other than Column, I'm talking to all of you. Did you solve this exercise, guys? <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating. I'm eating. Yeah. I can't hear. Yeah. Hallaytu ya Abdul Hello, Habibi. Hallaytu ya Abbas el Tille. Hmm. Shu hal el mistihiye ha. Yes. Okay, you solve it all, right? Yes. Min hallu kaman jad hallaytu. Yes, all of the questions. All of this exercise. I'm asking about this exercise, oh. Najad. Yes. The expanding and factorization. You did it yes. all? All of it. Okay, yes. bravo. هيدا اللي بدي اياه انا انه بدي اياكم تحلوا هيدا السؤال كرمال نكون نحن عم نراجع هيدا الدرس. We are revising this lesson because as you know the factorization and expanding is an act is a lesson which is very important. Okay. Father, did you solve this exercise? Haia. Was father left? Left. Ahsa. Ahsa, father left. Ahsa, she father left. Okay. So let me share it again. Let me share. Okay. Okay, Abbas, are you ready to start with me? Yes. Okay. Let us start, Ya Abbas. So we are given an algebraic expression, which is f of x and the g of x. First, we should develop and reduce f of x. What do we mean by develop and reduce, Ya Abbas? يعني شو لازم نعمل بالdevelop and reduce? شو يعني develop, Ya Abbas? Expand. Bravo. Expand, which means we should get rid of the parentheses, right? 
Yes. Okay, let's look at f of x. First, we have two parentheses here. We should multiply them together, yeah, best. Let us start. x times 3x. Three x squared. But kun sari ya abbas. X times minus eight. Yala ya abbas. X times minus eight. Minus eight x. Minus five times the three x. Minus fifteen x. Minus five times minus eight. Plus 40. Okay, now we move to the next parentheses. We have X minus five, all of it squared. How do we get rid of this parentheses, Abbas? What do we do? We apply what? Remarkable identity. Two, right? Which is two. X to the power two gives me X squared. Now we multiply the first with the second multiplied by two. X times five. Five X. Times two. Ten X. Now five is squared, what's the answer? 25. Okay, do we have any other parentheses, Abbas? No. So this is what we do. But Sonia Abbas, we should pay attention when we do the X minus five, all of it is squared, because we have sign before it. First, we should put the answer between parentheses. Do you remember this, Abbas? Yes. Now we get rid of this parentheses. We apply, we multiply everything by plus. Now let's reduce. We have a three X squared. The plus X squared is what? 4x squared. Plus 2x squared. 6x squared. Okay. Minus 8x, minus 15x. Minus 23x, minus 10x. Hmm. Minus 10x, minus... Uh... 23 is minus 33x, no. and we have 20. plus 40 mm. plus 25 minus 50 is a plus 15. So 6x squared mm. minus 33x plus 15 is the expanded form of f of x. So this is written in expanded form, as a, and as you can see in our answer, we have no parentheses. Now I move to Amir. Yes, yeah, Amir. Yes, boss. Amir, now we have the f of x. We should factorize f of x. To factorize Amir, either we use the common factor or we use the remarkable identities. As you can see here, the first yes. part, we have two parentheses multiplied together. In the second part, we have a parenthesis squared. In the third part, we have expanded form. So the first thing I should think about is this expanded form should be done in factorized form. 2x squared minus yes. 50, Amir. What do you do with 2x squared minus 50? What do we have? Wait, miss, the screen is black on my screen. I can't see it. Now? It's still black, it's not loading. It says uh, screen share and it's loading. Oh, guys, Callum, do you see the screen? Uh, for me, I see it. Okay, Callum. So 2x squared, 2x squared minus 50. What should be done here? I think, um, like, I'm not responsible. Like, I think that we should, like, uh, sort of, like, divide both sides into two because, like, technically it would be a squared minus b squared, right? Yes. So we take like... a common two, you mean. You will not divide. We take a common two. Yeah, we take two. the common two. Yeah. Yes. 
So 2x squared over 2, we get an x squared. Minus 50 over 2, we get a minus 25. I want to tell you something very important. When factorizing, please always pay attention that the exponent of x inside the parentheses should not be squared. It should always be.